Well, it's been a day of political toings and froings. Gordon Brown has insisted the Staley Bridge MP James Purnell did nothing wrong, despite being accused of avoiding paying capital gains tax when he sold his London home. Today, the Prime Minister said he was satisfied his minister had complied with the law and would not need to pay any money back. Well, battered, bruised and unloved, MPs today left Westminster for their wits and recess. Some can hardly relish the prospect of returning to their constituencies and meeting voters face to face. Here's Arif again. Another cabinet minister, another second home, another expenses row. James Pennell sold his London flat in 2004. He told the Commons it was his second home, allowing him to claim expenses. He told the taxman it was his first home, avoiding capital gains tax. The story that was printed this morning is wrong. I did not avoid taxes, I did not seek to avoid taxes. I believe people should pay their taxes and I paid every penny that was due. The Telegraph says it was the same offence Hazel Blears got into trouble for, but Mr Pennell says it had been his main flat when it went up for sale. And will you take that further then if you've been accused of something that's not true? Well, I've, uh, uh, I hope you've enjoyed my welfare speech and I'm delighted that you came. Right, Thank, Thank you very much. much. Hazel Blears paid back £13,000 when she was caught out, then the Prime Minister had little sympathy. It is unacceptable behaviour and she has accepted it is unacceptable behaviour. For James Purnell, there was more support. There is uh, an inquiry going on in Parliament. People will look back on the expenses of the last four years. They'll make a judgment, but as far as I know, there is no problem that needs to be dealt with. Um, Hazel Blizz is still smiling. I am not going to get into a debate with you in the media about uh, any colleague of mine uh, or about the Prime Minister and what he said. Uh, I know exactly um, what I've done and, uh, as I say, I'm within the rules, um, but I do acknowledge that people are pretty angry. Angry too with the Bolton West MP and former Cabinet Minister Ruth Kelly. She had a second home in Horwich. When it flooded, she claimed thousands of pounds for luxury furniture and a TV. She was given 50% from the public purse after she claimed her insurance policy wouldn't pay as she wasn't living there full time. The Bury North MP, David Chater, has already been suspended from the Parliamentary Labour Party. He's written to constituents to apologise, saying any repayment will be made, and he's referred himself to the common sleaze watchdog. But many of his constituents remain unimpressed. Too late to apologise. He should have thought of that when he was involved in his skullduggery. Personally, my opinion on uh, politicians is... Uh... Well, I think they're all, I think they all tell pork. He's, he's, he's good for apologies, but he's good for burying. I think he's a good MP. It's fraud and they should get locked up for it. It's like any normal person would. So another day of damaging headlines. Many MPs are still finding out just how expensive those second homes have proved to be. Arif Ansari, BBC North West Tonight.